Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode here on the YouTube channel. In today's video, it's a monstrous game here in the Damo Does England Challenge as yes, we've already won the Premier League but there is still plenty to play for here in Season 2 and we have the quarter final against the Kings of Europe and that is Real Madrid. Ancelotti and his men are famous for winning this competition and going the distance and today they are the team that are looking to stop the juggernaut that is Arsenal Football Club here in Season 2 of the Save. If you do enjoy the content, do give it a like, do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. And as you can see, last episode, we won the title. And straight away, you already know this is our last season charge of Arsenal, as we'll be off the Aston Villa in our next season of this save. What we are going to try and do, though, is win the Champions League this season. Our team is good enough, and we can beat Real Madrid. We also do have Spurs yet again in the FA Cup semi-final. We beat Spurs last year in the FA Cup semi-final. If we get past Real Madrid today, you will get the Spurs result at the end of this episode. If we lose to Real Madrid today, there'll be another episode that will come out tomorrow and it'll be solely focused on the FA Cup, where you'll get the FA Cup semi-final and if we make it through the FA Cup final, obviously we want to win the Champions League, the Europa League, the Conference League, the FA Cup, the Cabaret Cup, the Community Shield. We want to win all of them in the whole of doing this challenge. We've done the Community Shield, but we need to win everything else. And we got a big chance today against Real Madrid. Uh, since we last met was against City, I have got on stream after being away for four days playing poker. And it's the first time I played football manager in four days. I fully rotated and we got absolutely slapped at Old Trafford 3-0. If you have a look at the highlights, uh, the highlights, the stats of this game though, um, same amount of shots. I had two more shots on target. XG, obviously they had a little bit more because they scored a chance from inside the six-yard box. We had more possession on a different day. If that game is played out with those stats... It is never going to be 3-0. It'll be more 1-1, one, 1-0, one, one, something like that. So, so a little bit unlucky in this one here. Real Madrid obviously are still class and are a fantastic side. And if you have a look at the players they brought in this season, Endrick's officially joined, who has world-class potential. Diego got a lot, big, uh, big signing from Real Madrid, from Man United to go to Real Madrid. Owen who is fantastic and is pretty good. And they did sign Kiwal from me for 60 million um, in January and has played 12 games for him and started all 12, which is quite shocking if he's playing for Real Madrid. So, okay. Uh, Real Madrid, if you have a look at how they got through in the Champions League, uh, senior team, remove competitions, Champions League, uh, they came through in, in, in the knockout stage just ahead of us by a point, um, only losing the one game to final of all teams. And then drew PSG, because PSG had a stinker, um, beat PSG 1-0 and drew 1-1. So there you go. Uh, they got past from PSG. They get past us, the public favourites to win the tournament. In terms of the team here for the first leg, which, of course, is at the Emirates, and I feel like we have to win today. We have to take a lead to Spain, take on the onslaught of what would be the Spanish crowd at the Bernabeu, hang on for dear life and make the semi-final of the Champions League and try and go one better than last year. And the team will be Ramsdale, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel Tyranny, Declan Rice, Odegaard, Havertz, Saka, Martinelli, and Ossiman. If you have a look, obviously that front three is the best front three in the league. We've scored so many goals this season. Odegaard, Havertz, and Declan Rice may lay, may lay crown to the throne of being the best midfield three in world football in this database. And that is Ben White, Saliba, and Tyranny are fantastic. And Gabriel is pretty good at what he does as well. Let's go and see how Real Madrid are going to be lining up today, the sort of players they're going to be using. And, well, I'm just going to go out there and say that this team that Real Madrid are going to have is going to be nutty and it's going to be difficult to beat. So Lewin is in net, which, you know, that's fine. He's a decent keeper. I think they would obviously rather have a better keeper in goal, but it is what it is. The lot obviously still very, very good on FM. Militao is elite. Kiwa has been playing centre-back for them. He's the one we have to get out. Ossiman can get at him every day. Alaba still is legendary. Tushimeni with Bellingham and Camavinga is also arguably lays claim to the throne that they're the best midfield three in the database in this save. You know, it's very good midfield three. Valverde is world-class. Vinicius Jr. is arguably the best player in the game. Rodrigo obviously lays claim to that throne as well. If you look at the bench, you've got Tony Gruz, you've got Ceballos, you've got Trossard that we sold here, you've got Diaz, you've got Owen, you've got Demaril who is world-class still as a centre-back. Look at how good he still is. Modric is still here. You know, that is a team that is steeped in European history, a team that knows how to win this competition and a team that we're going to find very difficult to beat. It's the Champions League anthem, boys. 
doesn't come bigger than this. Only time it comes bigger than this in the Champions League, arguably AC Milan and Liverpool. This is this is historically the hardest game that you can get. It's going to be the Galacticos in the black. Arsenal in that famous red and white. A team that's never won the Champions League. But can we win it tonight in this stream? We are live on stream. Links are down below to come follow us live on Twitch. We are trying to do a month of consistent uploads on YouTube. There has not been a day that I've missed so far. And by the time this video comes out, it should be towards the end of January. And we are hoping to have had a video out every day in the month of Jan. Habits. Turns it over to Camavinga in the first eight minutes here. Ball down the channel. That is a touch slow on the highlight, I think. We need to go one more up. And that finds Gabriel. Gabriel. Tyranny. Can go inside. We need to start fast. We need to start quick. And we need to start strong. Tyranny drives. Has options. Ball to Ossiman. One touch. Is he onside? I think we lead in the Champions League quarterfinal against Real Madrid. And if we win this one, boys, oh, I believe that we're going to win the whole competition. And we are 1-0 up against the Giants of European football. Tyranny with a great run inside. A great ball to Ossiman to broke the line. And that's why we spent $107 million to finish in big moments, in big games. And that is what he has done. Tick that one off. We'll have a look if it was offside or not. It was onside by a mile. An absolute mile. And so far, in 11 minutes, we had 70-odd percent possession, and we have scored. Brilliant start. Havertz loses out. Diogo de Lot forced back to the win. We need to go and squeeze here. Key war. Camavinga. Good boy out to Vinny J. Mr. Vinicius Jr. Going on a run. Beating men. In the box. Cuts it. Bellingham. Well saved by Ramsdale. It may not have been Bellingham. I reckon Rodrigo took it off Bellingham's foot. What a save from Ramsdale to keep it at 1-0 though. 16 minutes in. It's going to be Alaba. Militao does not win that one. Alaba keeps it in play. Alaba still going. Tushamendi. Kiwar. Highlight over. Thank Christ. And that is still going to be 1-0. Arsenal. Corner now down the other end. End to end game. Martinelli, Saliba heads over. Still is 1-0. If you look at the match momentum, first 20 minutes, Arsenal Football Club has dominated. That's exactly what I want to see. Tyranny injured. And I'm just going to tell you right now that Zinchenko is suspended for this game. So I don't have a recognised left back. Tomiyasu is going to go out there, but he's going to go more wing back on support, not over committing. Because we don't have that aggressive wing back. Hopefully that's not a big injury. Tyranny has been a massive part of this season. Time ticks away. We have got the one new lead though. That's important. Bellingham looks a little bit legless. That's good for us. We're approaching half time. This, since the injury, it's been a very mellow second period of the first half. But Alaba now finds Tushimeni. Kamavinga. Drives. Can we win it on the press, maybe? Looks like we've got space to play out here, Real Madrid. Bellingham. Don't let him turn. Valverde is on the turn. Good touch from Tom. A good tackle from Tommy Asu. Saka now. Can he beat a man? Drives inside. Martinelli keeping with great ball. Found him in space. Our best play this season. Martinelli beats one. Byline cuts it. Havertz 2-0. Martinelli brilliant. Saka what a ball. The side-to-side -side movement. The width of the winger. This 4-3-3 is delightful. And that is 2-0. Picked them apart. Look at this from Saka. Great switch. Great width. Drove inside. Stood up his man. Gets it a byline. Martinelli was like his 20, 25th assist of the season. And Lewin is left. On the spot, we score right on half time, and we are going to take a 2 0 lead in the first leg at home in at the break. Second half to begin. What I would do for a third goal here, and Martinelli looks for Saka wide. Good little adaptation on the free kick. Back to Gabriel. Martinelli knows how to hit him, didn't get space. And we lose it. No, Martinelli wins it back, does well. Now he's got to go himself. There's not much support on, and Vinny Jr. tracking back sweeps up. Lewin, Militao. Now, there's no one over here because Martinelli's on the other side. Rodrigo gets a good touch. Delot has got an overload here. We don't win it. Valverde does well. Declan Rice from nowhere. Declan Rice from nowhere sweeps up. 
Osiman breaking lines now in the channel. Driving. He's inside to lot with another good tackle. That goes long. Vinny J, it's picked off. Declan Rice sweeping up again. Saliba now down this right-hand side. Doesn't mind getting forward. Finds Saka in the box. Cuts at the Ben White. Habits on the volley, deflected and in. That's going to be an own goal off the lot. That's 3 0. That is 3 0. Are we the best team in the world? Are we the best team in the world? Um, football manager, are we the best team in the world on this save? Did I turn Arsenal into the best football team in the world in a season and a half? Habits scores. It's well, it's a deflection of Habits. It's 3 0. We can't get too ahead of ourselves. Real Madrid could turn up. In the next five minutes, the next minute's 3-2. But hopefully this is just our highlight for 4-0. Gabriel. Saliba. Declan Rice. Madrid are going to come press and we'll pick them off. We're good enough to. Havertz was in space. Tommy Asu was under pressure. And in the end, he paid a channel. Havertz wins the second ball. Martinelli drives inside. Gabriel Martinelli. Good save from the win. Still 3-0. Here we go. 3 0 up, 61 minutes played. Do we think about a change here? Not really. The boys got a full 90 minutes rest against Real Madrid, against uh, Man United here, so they were ready for Real Madrid. Don't think we do. Zaniolo, maybe for Martinelli, just to provide that extra little bit of dynamism out there on the left. Because he is world class as well. Maybe. Anyway, we turn the ball over here. We need to stop thinking about that and start thinking about this highlight as the lot gets across. Our press has been sensational. The amount of times we forced them back to the win has been brilliant. The lot hasn't got much on, but this ball down the line to Ibrahimi Diaz. Militao, Tushamendi, Key War. Jude Bellingham knows what he's doing. Vinny J also knows what he's doing. It's a world class size to be out there for Real Madrid, let's be honest. Vinny J, what a run. Ibrahim Diaz Valverde puts it over the bar. That needed to go in. Apparently, it was going to be given for offside. Going to have a look here. So, Martinelli not 100%. Zanolo's going to come in. Light for light. That's fine. Saliba's coming from an injury. Does have to come off for a Suma Diamonde. Saliba was not 100% fit to start this game, but needed to. Havertz is coming out, though. His name is Smith Rowe. He's been playing out of his skin this season. Out of his skin. I'm actually going to move Odegaard and Smith Rowe around as well. 3 new up, 72 minutes played, a few changes. Ben White's not 100% fit. Timber could come on for him. We'll leave it for now. Odegaard, corner, whippage. Ossiman. Wow, when he makes contact, he probably should score. Kamavinga off injured for them too in the 70th minute. 87 minutes played. Time ticks away. We're going to take a 3-0 lead back to the Bernabeu boys. We can't take it for granted, but we should be in the Champions League semi-final on the basis of that result. We Madrid need to pump us. And the way we're playing this season, we shouldn't get pumped, but we may get pumped. We're obviously going to leave Tyranny out for the next three weeks so he can play a little bit more down the track. The boys have done well. I'm over the moon with that. I'll see you guys in a second after this Liverpool game, which means absolutely squiddly diddly squat because we already won the league. I see these guys in a second after this Liverpool game for the second leg against Real Madrid. Second leg, Bernabeu, Real Madrid. We play the winners, by the way, of the Spurs, AC Milan. That's currently 2-2. Now, as much as I would love to play Spurs and knock them out in the semi-final in the Champions League, being an Ar you know, being Arsenal, and then obviously it's, it's the big derby, right? We've played the Spurs a lot already in like 13 episodes of this save. So I actually would prefer to play AC Milan, knock out the European giants that are... Uh, Real Madrid, and then the next biggest European team in terms of history, AC Milan. Obviously, Liverpool's pretty much up there with them as well, so maybe a little bit disrespectful to the club that I support, but uh, yeah, obviously, you're looking at some of the kings of Europe there, some European royalty in Real Madrid, AC Milan. Uh, with that being said, same side that just won. Why, why would it be? And if you're wondering what happened in the last game against Liverpool, um, we won. That is correct. We fully rotated. We had to bring a couple of the first team boys on because a few of these boys were a little bit legless and then Ossiman scored from a 97th minute corner to win the game. So it was pretty nice to win um, and go into this game on the back of a win. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what we can do here. Obviously, we've got a 3-0 lead. The more that this game ticks away, the better it is for us. And let's hope that we can go and see this one out and make the semi-final of the Champions League 
and then make the final, unlike last year. So Nacho comes in at right back. Militao, Kiwa, Alaba, all the same. They're not 100% fit. Tushimendi, Bellingham, Valverde's moved in as the start. Diaz, which, look, Diaz is never good enough to play for Real Madrid, so that's nice. So, and then the other two are the same. So same team, bar two changes. And to be fair, they all look tired. I'm just going to put it out there now. If we don't concede early, we're going to go into a Champions League semi-final for the second year in a row. The Galacticos at home in, the, in their infamous white. Always difficult. Big old occasion, this one. Can we make it to the Champions League semi-final again? Ah, uh, come on, boys. We should be in to the semi-final yet again for the second year in a row. Can we do it? Let's go find out. 3-0 lead. The longer that this game ticks away, as it's currently doing, better for us. Mate, we could... No highlight. I'm happy. Just, just over the moon. Just, just let it go. Don't need to see a highlight. 20 minutes. Brilliant. I want, it. I want that Champions League trophy. I would love a goal right now. Gabriel, back to Declan Rice. Keep that ball. Knock it around. Teach him who's boss. Odegaard, unfortunately, doesn't find Militao. Bellingham now, fortunately, doesn't find um, our player found Militao. Rodrigo, cousin of Alverde, to Vinny J. They played three different passes, and they've scored. Okay. 25 minutes in, here comes Real Madrid. Time for the nerves to kick in, boys. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Oh, no. Real Madrid are coming. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Highlight straight away. Come on. Just, just, just let us work a chance and score. Saliba. Ben White. Declan Rice. Chips one of Ossiman. What a touch. Side volley goal. Oh, what a ball from Declan Rice. And we score straight away and it's 1-1. And who was nervous again? I don't know who was. Saliba. Great ball back of line. Deck dad. First time ball over the top. Ossiman, what a touch. And a side volley. Pass the win. And it's now 4-1 on aggregate. 1-1 on the night. Corner straight away down the other end. We've had three highlights in the space of four minutes. If this goes in, that's three goals in four minutes. Sleeper heads away. Bellingham. Militao puts it wide. Time now ticks again. Let's hope it just ticks away. 40 minutes played. Martinelli. Saliba heads over. Unlucky. Still 4 1. Still pretty happy. We're still three goals up, and we have Gabriel and Saka on a booking, and I don't want them to miss the first leg of the semi final, so I am tempted to, uh, to whip them off here. Now, this is a big call. This is a big call. Zanolo on, Dimonde on. That is a big call in the, semi in the quarter final against Real Madrid to take off two very good players, but I'm more thinking that they need three goals to send it to extra time. Their team is legless. Real Madrid aren't 100% fit for this, judging by the fitness pregame. And if Endrick scores, things become a little bit more nervy, but he's missed. Um, I think we can get through this game, take off a couple of bookings, and make sure that they're 100% okay. Also, out of possession, don't need to get stuck in here. I don't want any needless red card moving into the semi-final. And you can tell I've been burnt by this in the past, can you? Anyone thinking back to the little old SFB and red card drama? Two Champions League finals, man, that cost me the red cards. Anyway, 70 minutes played. We're still three goals to the good. We look like we're going to be in a fantastic position here to get through. Uh, ben White's been playing a lot of minutes. The so Timber's on, and that is perfectly fine. Martinelli's played a lot of minutes this season as well. I'm actually going to bring in Fabio Vieira and move these two around. Um, Party's going to come on for Deck Dad as well. No, 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 not for Zinchenko. Deck Dad. We'll rest Deck Dad here as well. Perfect. 70 minutes played. As you can tell by the Real Madrid formation, look how tired their players are. It's highly unlikely they're coming back from here with how tired their players are compared to ours and the football we play. But you never know. We've made our changes, and I'm happy with them. As long as we don't concede right now, then I'm getting a little nervous, and Zinchenko sweeps up beautifully. All right, let's play football again. Come on. 
Trust the process. Play between those lines. Timber. Odegaard. Zaniolo. Well, Fabio Vieira didn't really present at feet, I should say. Modric picks it up. Bellingham. He can hit him. Oh, that's a run and a half from Bellingham. What a block from Diamonde. Assume a Diamonde. That's world class, son. That is world class. Even if we were to concede now, you think we're home, right? We don't have to worry about conceding now as that goes over the bar. I'm actually going to get us to start wasting a little bit of time. Still play the same football. Just if you get a set piece or something, just waste as much time off that clock as possible. Corner for Odegaard. Backstick ball looking for Ossiman. Doesn't find him. But he will sweep up. He's done very well, the big striker. Until he tried to pass the ball and he forgot that he could do that. Endrick now. Back to Owen Wijnal, or Window. I don't know how to say that last name. Anyway, Timber wins it off Modric. Diamande, Saliba. Yet again, Fabio Vera has looked lost. Valverde, Endrick. Good run from Endrick. Goal, I'm making a change. Fabio Vera has looked lost. Havertz is off. Smith Rowe, get out there. Apparently, we have no more substitutions. Radio. Just, just advance, playmaker, and support. Just drop in. All right. Both times in that highlight that we needed Fabio Vera to show himself, he just didn't know where to go. We get one more. Ch if this does somehow get the extra time from here, if they score two more goals in the next five minutes and it does go to extra time, Vieira's coming into the middle of the park with taking habits off. But it looks like that's not going to be the case, boys. We're going to lose here on the night 2-1, but we're going to win on aggregate 4-2. We are through to the semi-final of the Champions League for the second time in two seasons in the save and with Arsenal Football Club. I'm very happy with how you boys played. Who are we going to play in the Champions League semi-final? It is going to be Tottenham freaking Hotspur again. The North London Clash. We play Spurs in a semi-final of the Champions League. I know it's boring. I know there's so many Premier League clubs. You know, when you're in Europe, you want to see all these, you know, better, you know, more cooler tyres. Real Madrid was pretty cool. But, boys, we have got Spurs in the semi-final of the FA Cup. But more importantly, we've got two cracks at Spurs. A team we beat 7-0 at the start of this season in the Champions League semi-final. And I'm just going to say this now. There is going to be no easier opportunity to make this final of the Champions League in this save than in Season 2 because Spurs should not be there. With that being said, I'm going to see you guys next time. No, you're not. I'm going to give you guys the FA Cup goals at the end of this little part. See you guys in a second for the final result in the FA Cup semi-final. Well, YouTube. Well, well, well. We're 5-1 up. We should be through to the final of the FA Cup. I've just seen smith Rowe get injured, and then the preceding highlights seen Zaniolo get red carded. So we're actually currently playing with nine men. So I've come live just in case they scored two goals quickly. But it doesn't look like that's the case. With nine men, we're going to hold on to a 5-1 lead. And we have destroyed Spurs. And if we do this in the next episode in the semi-final of the Champions League, this could be 10x. Uh, you know, in terms of a result, it could be 10 2, 10 4, 10 1, 10 0 over two legs. Um, absolutely thrilled. Fantastic result. Uh, let's go find out who we're going to get in that Champions League, uh, in that uh, FA Cup final for you guys to look forward to. And then I'll show you guys the goals as well. And then that will be the end of the episode. Would imagine it's going to be. Oh, I'm trying to think who's in the. I uh, can't remember who's in the other semi final now. Uh, Wolves and Liverpool. Gonna imagine it's going to be Liverpool. If it's Wolves, it would be great. But I would imagine playing Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool, obviously, are in the other side of the quarterfinal of the thing. Wow, Liverpool need the pens. Uh, Liverpool and ourselves in the FA Cup, which is brilliant. Awesome. Uh, in the Champions League semi-final, the other side is Man City Liverpool. So four English teams in the semi-final. And potential to have the FA Cup final and the Champions League final both against Liverpool, which is crazy. Uh, let's show you guys these goals, though. 5-1 here. And then we'll get off and done and dusted. Couple from set pieces. We don't score too many set pieces. Have a look at that though. 64% possession, 12 shots on target, 3.19 XG, 20 shots. If we're going to do that against Spurs in the Champions League, we're going to get through pretty easily. As you can see, a number of shots here blocked and wouldn't go in until eventually Saliba headed through the bodies. And we did make it 1-0. We then put another ball back stick in here for Victor Osiman to head home for 2-0, which was brilliant. We then had Saliba pick up the ball, work it around with Odegaard. Have it, scrape ball through to Saka, and instead of cutting it, gave Vicara the eyes and slotted. We then conceded one, unfortunately, to a penalty that was no, it was never a pen, and that's not me being biased. 
This is just never a penalty, and you know it should never have been given. As you guys were about to see, ball free to Donnelly. Sleeper wins the ball, gets nowhere near Donnelly. Great tackle, penalty given, horrendous decision. Um, and then we scored a couple more just to make sure that we kill the game off. Ben White, Saliba, great ball to Zaniolo, finds Jesus, that is another one. And lucky last goal of the game was a Smith Rowe bumper from a free kick into that far corner that Bicario couldn't get near. Terms of the next episode, Spurs yet again in the FA Cup, in the FA Cup, in the semi-final of the Champions League. If we get through to the final, your next episode will be the chance of a treble after that episode is what I mean. And that'll be a chance of a treble to win, obviously, the Prem, the FA Cup final, and the Champions League final. I see these guys for Spurs in the semi-final of the Champions, of the Champions League, a tie that we should be winning easily. I'll see these guys then. Thank you and goodbye.